Hello, welcome to this video about how to edit your pages using Elementor in PrestoShop. It's pretty easy how to build the pages, uh, how to add extra little elements, etc. etc. So what you first of all do is you go to Design, and you go down to Pages. Once you get uh, to Pages here, then you can select what page you want to edit. So you just uh, you click over here, the editor here, and this now is going to bring up the Elementor editor. So just got a category here, some meta descriptions that you can add in, some meta uh, keywords if you want to add them in here for, um, you know, for search engine optimization, etc., etc. You can add those in yourself, but that's not the main part of it. The real main part is this Elementor Builder. So we just load up this Elementor Builder here, and this is this page builder. It's a graphical page builder. So here we have this particular website we're building here for a company called Sparks Labs, based in Dublin, and. Um, We've just put in, we're putting in, we have pre-made some of these images to go in and out here. So just to give you an idea of what you can actually do, you can just add an extra section in here. So I can just add an extra section, say how many divisions or subdivisions that I want to have in it. It gives you some nice options here to do one third, two thirds, two thirds, one third, etc., etc., split into three parts. So for the purposes of this little t uh, demonstration, I'm just going to just split it into three even parts here. So now you can just see faintly there, 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 the three boxes there. So over here on the left hand side, you can see I can put a number of different the pre built elements I can put in here. So I can put um, Google Maps, I can put in raw HTML, I can put in, so if you had maybe some iframe stuff in there, you could you could pop it in there, I can put Instagram, link it in with Instagram, some, uh, I can even put in some custom TPL stuff in here, newsletter, um, a newsletter, sign up, whatever, whatever you're having yourself, basically. Uh, so what I'll just do is I'll just do, um, we'll just add a new section here and I'll just make this here. Okay, so I've just got a, a tree box and a two box. So I'm just going to put in brand logos in here. So the minute I put in the brand logos, the next thing that comes up is once I do that, then the actual widget comes up here. So I can put in, I can put this in here. I can say, what I want and then it usually has a bunch of configurable pieces here so we can say that we're going to have two to align something like that uh, and select the brands so if there are brands loaded in this particular website there aren't brands loaded in but if there are brands loaded in they would actually appear here and then you can put those in and those brands then will appear along here in a little, in a little carousel so um, then you can if you want to move some of the items around so that's um, you can actually just move the column here. So I can just move this column to sit on top of this one here or whatever way you want to do it. You can throw them whatever way you want. I've just thrown that one inside here. So I'll just bring it back down here. Don't want it sitting in there. And you can just basically drag and drop this, this uh, content around if you want to. Or you can actually then just delete it if you don't want it anymore. Delete the brand logos and you can actually delete the section if you want. So just to give you an idea here, I'm just going to put in a little uh, an image into this one here. So then I just choose my image here, brings up the images that I already have. If I don't have the image there already, I can do an upload here. And if I want to create a directory of images, I can put the it here. So we just put a little coming soon here. So coming soon is sitting on that one. So that's nice, dandy. So what we'll do now is we'll just go to edit this one. So we'll, um, we'll just put in some, uh, let me see, we'll put in here. Just for argument's sake, we put in a little, um, we can put in a little uh, image carousel if we want to. So put an image carousel in here, and then we can put in some images in here. So so add some images. Choose the images here to go into the carousel. So I can put in this one here. I can choose another image here. I can link that image down to anything I want, etc., etc. So it's pretty versatile the way you can do it. Uh, what you see is what you get, um, and it's you know it's 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 fairly handy. You just click here to save each iteration, keeps you on the page, and then if you want to, uh, you can go into full screen mode. You can view it on tablet mode if you want to see what it looks like on tablet mode and what it looks like on mobile, which is really really handy. Handy. Um, you can also save this, so if you like the layout you've done to this page and you think you're going to use this layout, you spent a lot of time designing this layout and you're going to replicate it in other places, you can then save this actually as a little template in here. You can make a little library and you can call it in here. So here we'll just call it um, uh, Offers Catalogs. And we just save it in there. It just means that then when we go to build another page that we can actually um, 
we can then just uh, so we'll just save it here. Oh, we've saved it already, so I don't need to save it a second time. Then time when we go to build another page, what we can do now is actually just uh, we can just pull up that template. It'll be pre-populated, and we can change the elements in and out. A lot of this usually takes quite a lot of bit of changing around the place you have to go off prepare these images all that kind of stuff but I mean when I bring up this image here I can then link this image off to I can actually have a it links to so I can have it, it links to a custom URL and I put the custom URL in here that I wanted to link off to so it's very very handy this um, very very versatile very quick to edit once you edit it make sure to refresh your cache so that the changes get shown out to the to the customers again inside each of them you'll see there's actually a style guide in here where you can actually change different styles and there's an advanced editor where you can throw in margin padding all that kind of stuff uh, to to refine it even further um, so you'll find it very very useful so we just hit save here and uh, that's saved and then we just close out here and gives us the option to go to the back office so i hope that's helped you i hope you uh will make you feel a bit more confident with um element builder it's really very very easy to use and i would recommend for mo building most of your content pages on presser shop if you want to build them out pre really quick and make them look professional looking thanks very much